Let me ask y'all some questions. What is it? What is what is calling yourself black? What is what does that do for you? Calling yourself a Hebrew, what it what does that do for you? Even though Hebrew is a language, what does that do for you? Calling yourself an Indian, what does that do for you? Calling yourself a Pan-African, what does that do for you? Indian, what does that do for you? Let's just let's just look at that right there, those questions. <coughs> Like if y'all if 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 people really just want to like this just to like get dead into it, let's just start there. Cause I be I be looking at stuff online, man, and it it's it see, it's an algorithm, fam. All this stuff is an algorithm. The more that you feed your algorithm, the more of that what you pushing is gonna come back into your phone. So if you keep looking at black content, Indian content, and you keep looking at shootings and whatnot, if you keep looking at misery, that's all you're going to get rewarded back in your feed, in your thread. All this stuff is going to come back in your algorithm. Don't you realize that? The more that you put into your phone, your algorithm is going to take what you're saying and it's going to give you everything that you're looking for. So I'm just asking you, what are you putting in your algorithm? Because you the one that is your phone, is your laptop. What you putting in your algorithm is what you're going to get back. You keep watching crazy shit. You keep watching content that don't make no sense. Relationship content that don't make no sense. Advice from people that's doing podcasts online that don't make no sense. That's what you keep putting into your algorithm. So that's all you're going to get back. It's nonsense. Garbage. That's all you're going to get back. What is... So, what is it for though? It's for control purposes. I don't think people realize... When they say, man, they, they, they hiding it from us. Who is they? What they? I think people, I know, I know people tell themselves that shit because they don't want to take accountability for what it is versus the reality in their head. See, people be walking around here every day. You might not even know what they thinking about, but they walking around like CPUs. They walking around program. You'd be surprised. People who just, they just walking around here programmed, G. In their own head, they really think what they thinking is reality. And that's the disconnect with somebody that's a, a functional critical thinker versus somebody who walking around like a CPU, like a, a, a program robot. Because all they know is what they know. They don't know enough to know that they don't know. Nobody knows it all. But the one thing you should know is your own name and your own nationality. You don't have to know it all. But at least know your name, though. That'd be the thing I'd be looking at because <coughs> I look at it like people, for the most part, people want to feel like that they're a part of something. You know how people just, they just want to, they might not really fully be in the mix, but they want to be involved in something just to say that they're involved. They want to be a part of something. So my thing is, what is calling yourself a crayon color that your skin don't match? What is that? What, what, what part of being involved with that is good for you? What has it done for you? What what has you saying you want to be involved with calling yourself a crayon color that you don't match? What? That shit is insanity, fam. But again, people want to be a part of something. The crazy shit is this. This is the insanity, though. The delusion. 
Well, people out here saying they want answers, right? Now, when you say it's nothing hidden, everything really is in plain sight. All you got to do is just open your mind up to be able to receive the information. A lot of people don't want to do that. They don't. They say they do. They say they want you to tell them the truth. They say they want answers. No, they don't. They really, they really don't. They just talking shit. They really don't want the answer because the answer is there. What they want is, I want you to tell me, but first of all, tell me something that's going to make me feel comfortable enough to listen to you. That part. Tell me a narrative that's going to make me comfortable enough to say, okay, I can accept that. Fuck out of here. That's what people walking around here like. They claim they want the answers. You want the answers to the test. Yeah. Okay. This is what you got to do to pass this test. First thing you got to do is you got to do, you got to have a name out here. You got to be connected to a land out here. So when did you say that? What you, what you mean? America, we never came from America. Question for you. If you didn't come from America, where else you think you came from? Because if you didn't come from America, why can't you go to Africa over there without a passport right now? Think, just, just, just put your emotions up and just think about it. Think about this. If you didn't come from America, right? Why would you need a passport to go back to a place that they say they kidnapped you from? Your ancestors. Why would you need a passport to go back to a land that they say you came from and you got stolen from? Why would you need a passport to go back there if that was really your homeland? Bing fucking bong. Do you get it? You never got brought over here. You always been here. Just think about what I'm saying right now. If you really got, if your ancestors got took from some, from over there in Africa, why would you need a passport today to go back over there? Why wouldn't the people that stole you from over there give you some kind of stifling a check to go back over there to the place that they stole you from. You see? This is what I be saying though. Because when you look at it like that, if somebody stole you from a place, and it, it should be your right to go back there, right? So why don't you go back there then? For all them people out here talking shit about, man, America is so messed up. It's so messed up here. We ain't from America. Okay, question for you. If America is so messed up, everything effed up in America, why don't you go back to the place that they say that they stole your ancestors from? Why don't you go back there? Huh? And if you do go back there, they're not going to look at you like you're from there because you're not from there. You from here. The only place that you could say your grandma from, your great grandma from, your great great grandma from is America. That's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. They not going them Eastern Africans over there. They not going to accept you as one of them over there because you're not from over there. Then you got this guy. And you got these other, this other group of people who tell you things that are really, they so idiotic. I'm surprised ain't nobody called these people out for fraud yet. Like on a consistent basis. What is the Pan-African language? What's your language? If Pan-Africa was a real thing, what is your language? Why are you speaking English if you say that you're Pan-African? 
You don't got your own language? This is how you know these people are fucking fraud. All of them. If Pan-Africa was a real thing, what's your real language? I'm surprised ain't nobody called the yank these people up out of the places that they be in and start putting pressure on these people and drag them outside and demanded answers. <laughs> yeah. You said they trying to use, but it's a trade language. Crazy, Jay. Just straight insanity. I don't know why y'all ain't drag these people out all they comfortable ass places and drag their ass outside for answers. Or when you see them outside, why you ain't putting cables on them asking them questions like, if, I hear you talking about Pan-Africa all the time. What is the native language of Pan-Africa? They don't have no answers. I don't know what y'all waiting on. What are y'all waiting for? You got a group of people that's out here saying that you're Pan-Africans. But ain't nobody putting the pressure on them saying... Since you're saying that you're a Pan-African, what's your native language? What's your native tongue? Why you speak English if you say that you're not English and you say that you're not American? What is your native language? What is the native language of Pan-Africa? What is it? It's insanity. This shit is so fucking stupid to me. Ain't nobody out here seeing this shit? You got a group of people that's running around here, lying to y'all on social media every chance they get, making stupid ass videos about, I'm, I'm Pan-African. What is the native language of Pan-Africa? You got an answer? Uma Johnson. What is the native language of Pan-Africa? Why you speak English? What is the native language? What is the native language of the nation of Islam? Y'all ain't tired of these people lying to y'all? <laughs> Yo. Where's your school at? Where's your book at? Y'all ain't sick of these people? Damn. Y'all ain't sick of these people. Y'all need to be out here putting pressure on these punks, man. You need to put pressure on them. Stop letting them live. They walking around here just lying to y'all constantly 24-7. If Pan-Africa was a real place, then why you speak English? What's the native language to Pan-Africa? Talking about peace, peace, love, and Pan-Africanism. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. I'm tired of that goof-ass shit. What's the native language to your to, to whatever you claim? Check it out. Because everybody else on this green earth planet, they have a national language that they speak. Right? Correct? What is the native language to Indians? What's the native language to Pan Africa? What's the native language to the nation of Islam? Y'all ain't sick of this shit yet? It's crazy though because it's like right there. And people is so desperate to be a part of something. You're not asking the basic questions on some, what's y'all native language? Where's y'all native flag at? Ain't nobody ask these people these questions? You say you're a part of a nation, right? But you don't have nothing that got anything to do with a nation to your name. Baltimore Islam. Cali Islam. You know the rack up in here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. South side, wild hunnids. East side, crazy. Up north, out west with it. All the BDs, GDs. MCs, vice lords, four corner hustlers. Yeah, yeah. All the black peace stone nations, all the L Rookins. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. All the bloods and the crips. Yes, sir. Whatever set you bang with, we own that. We own that, man. Tennessee Islam. But see, this is what it got to be. This is what it got to be, man. You got to start calling these people out. You got to start calling these people out. Columbus, Islam. You got to start calling these people out. Because they are here running amok. Amok. They just running around here just literally saying anything online. Because they know ain't been, it ain't been no repercussions yet. When you see these people outside, you need to be questioning these people like, you say you Pan-African, what's your native language? Why you speak English if you say you something else? Why don't nobody else speak Pan-African? <laughs> hey, imagine that. Imagine somebody saying, hey, what's, your what's the native Pan-African language? And come to find out, off examination, it don't exist. Then what you go, then what can they say to you? Fam, I'm trying to tell y'all, fam. All of these people out here is lying to y'all. All of them out here. They scamming y'all. They lying to y'all. All of them, fam. I don't know what y'all waiting on. I don't know what y'all waiting for. Are you waiting for somebody to come out of the sky and tell you that these people lying to you? What you waiting for? Damn. Check it out. These people, they don't never show no books. They don't never show no receipts, documentation, treaty law. They never show you any proof of nothing, but they get in front of a camera, get on a podcast, and they just start talking, and don't nobody check these people on nothing. On some real shit, like how long do you want to be lied to by these people who keep telling you that you every look 1828, the first dictionary published in America is the Noah Webster Dictionary. 1828. That's the first dictionary published in America. It says in the definition of American. Look it up. It's a an American. It's a noun. Aboriginal, indigenous, copper complexion found here by the European. I mean, what? You see that definition. I mean, it ain't fucking rocket science. It says Aboriginal and indigenous. Don't. Don't our people love talking about we built the pyramids? We was the first ones here. Okay. That's what the word aboriginal means. So why don't you check these people now? What you waiting for? Real shit, what y'all waiting on, man? What y'all waiting for? For real, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? It says in the first dictionary of 1828, Noah Webster, Aboriginal and indigenous copper colored races found here by the European. That don't sound like your description. That don't sound like your ancestors description. Like what? See, niggas be talking that shit. Niggas be talking that shit, right? But when it's time for con when it's time for action on some all right, look, we finna have a real conversation. Real conversation. Niggas get scared. They get scared. Because question is, do they really stand on what they say they stand on? More than likely, no, sir. They really believe what they've been told. They don't really know what they've been told. They just going by what they heard or what they believe in. Upon examination, they don't know what they stand on or what they stand for. How you gonna stand on something and you unsure if your foot, if your feet gonna come from, your, your ground gonna come from underneath your feet? 
You feel me? How do you really know if if you don't know, then you don't know. If you don't know something, you just a believer. That's dangerous. Because you could be out here believing anything somebody tell you. Like, do you know your father is your father? Do you know your mama is your mama? Do you know that? Like real shit. Do you believe your mother is your mother? Or do you know your mama is your mama? It's that simple. Real shit. Miami Islam. Shout out to everybody down there in Florida, Tennessee, Georgia, the Carolinas. Y'all hold it down out there, man, because we know that they're doing weather modification down there. We know that. Y'all know that. They did the same thing to the to the to the people over there in Hawaii. They did the same thing. Fam, these vampires. They out here showing you what they doing and what they think of humanity. They out here showing people now. It's wild, Jay. I seen a clip of this pastor, this hybrid European pastor. Forget his, forget his name. He was in a church service. The congregation is out there. He, he, he had a knife in one hand. He was talking to some other dude. I'm gonna put the clip up. He sliced his finger, his, he sliced his hand and said something about, let your blood be of my blood. This is a well known European pastor. He sliced his hand and started squeezing his hand in the cup. I'm showing you how these vampires, they are not hiding anything no more. He started pouring his hand in the cup. With the other guy on the stage in front of the congregation and said, Let you, now your blood is my blood. They doing rituals right in front of people. Right in front of people. You said you seen it, right? Oh God, more. I'm telling you, I'm not, I don't got time to waste time and make none of this shit up. This shit is real life. They drank it on the stage. In front of the congregation, and, and ain't nobody looking at this shit like, fam, this is some Transylvania vampire shit. <laughs> Yo. You said you seen it too? Hey, man. Hey. That's what the whole communion is about. Did you know the communion in the church on Sunday? When they say flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood, I'm showing y'all this is how they really, this is what it really is. It's scary to a lot of people because they don't know. But once you start finding out the real history, you're not going to be scared no more because you know they're doing a ritual. They're doing a blood ritual on communion. When that cup are filled with that grape juice, that wasn't always grape juice. It was really a symbol of blood from Yahushua poured from his body in the cup. And then they ate pieces of his body. Yo, listen, man. But see, it's, it's symbolic. We not even been taught this information. So we're looking at it like, no, nah, it can't. It can't. You know what people say. It can't be like that. It, it can't be like this. No, it could it couldn't be like that. Yes, it is like that. It is like that. When they say flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood in the church services, when they're doing communion, this is what they're doing. They're doing a blood ritual inside of the church, ma'am. That's what they're doing. The cup of the cup of grapefruit, the grape juice. That's symbolizing the blood of Yahushua. That's your brother. That's your brother. They 86 Yahushua.
drained his blood, put it in the cup, passed that cup around to the congregation. Then they took bits and pieces of his body and they ate the flesh. What do you think that you so wait a minute, you you think they stopped doing this ritual? Again, what is calling yourself black doing for you? What is it? What it, like real shit? Real question. What is identifying yourself as black? What is it doing for you? A Latino. What is it doing for you? A Hispanic. What is it doing for you? An Indian, a Hebrew Israelite, a Pan-African, a Native American. What is it doing for you? What is it doing? I want y'all to look at something, man. For real. Look at something. Look at, look at this right here. The definition of an American is Aboriginal and Indigenous copper colored race found here by the Europeans. Don't that description fit you? But they got agents that's out here by the boatload telling you you ain't come from here. But keep in mind, these same agents, they never show you books. They never show you literature. They never show you documentation of nothing. They can't even tell you what the Pan-African native language is. They can't even tell you that. <laughs> what? But y'all listening to these people though. Turn that shit off. That's part of the algorithm. They keep tapping you in your head with that black algorithm. It's a spell, it's black magic. Check it out. Say you, say you, uh, say you, uh, you catch up with one of your, one of your peoples, right? You ain't seen them in a while. You ain't seen her in a while, right? You catch up with them. And then the whole time they, y'all talking and shit, and you be like, man, yeah, so, so what you been up to? What you been on? Right? You say this to your people now, right? Say what you been on? What you what you been up to? Right? And they tell you, hey, you know, I just I've been uh practicing black magic. That's been like a like an art. I've been practicing the black art. Uh I've been practicing some some sorcery, some black magic. You want to come to my house and you know check it out? What? Come again? <laughs> You been, I ain't seen you in a little while, fam. You telling me that you been, you done picked up practicing black magic? And you asking me, do I want to slide and, and, and see what you own? You telling me you been practicing black magic. And you telling, you asking me, I want to slide and see what you own in person. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, you better start putting two and two together, man. These people was out here practicing black magic on humanity. And then say, you got this right here. They'll say this. They'll say, English, English is not our language. English is full of spells. Let me tell you something, man. English is the language of the cultured Moors. Because it's a language of angles. That's another, that's another booby trap, more that they told our people. Another lie that they told our people. They'll say, English is a language of as a European language. No. That's cap. Every language can have spells in it. Every language got spells in it. You could use a language for positive or for negative because it's up to you. You the one can do, you can do whatever you want to do with it. The language could be used however you want to use it, positive or negative. It's up to you to use for positive or negative. That's, that's the thing for you to do. 
what I'm saying? That's up to you to do that. They'll tell you that English is English is a language that the the white man fam that gotta be some of the most asinine shit if you really slowed it down and thought about that story along with the slave story. Are you trying to tell me that people that got pulled out of caves, right? We talking about hyper Europeans. People that got pulled out of caves, dragged across the Sahara Desert, created a language called English, enslaved our people, and forced us to learn it. <laughs> Oh my God, man! See, see the see the bigger the lie, the the more difficult it is to break out of your head. It's it's harder to break that lie out of your head because the lie is so gargantuan, it's so huge. You're not even gonna think to question that shit. You're gonna be looking at that shit like it's gotta be true because everybody's saying the same thing. No, sir. No, sir. But again, people want to be a part of something. What if I told you what you've been trying to be a part of is the main reason for your exclusion of rights, fundamental freedoms that everybody else on the planet has right now? You thinking that Nah, I'm I'm free to, to to say that I'm a person of color. Yeah, you are free to do that. But what you're not gonna excuse is the repercussions that come with that spell. See, this is what you can't do. You can't look at uh, I got the right and the freedom to say whatever I want to say. For sure, you do got the right to say, you got the right to say and do whatever you want to do and say. But you not that does not excuse the law of nature. It don't excuse you. No. You're not excused because ignorance of the law is no excuse. It doesn't matter if you say, I don't like the way Kush be talking because the, his tone, I don't like the way he says certain things. I agree with the message, but I just don't like his delivery. It doesn't matter if you don't like the delivery or not. This is what you don't get. You looking at for somebody to come and, and give you a massage, a verbal massage to make you feel better about this fucked up reality that it is right now. See, that's where you got it twisted at. You looking for somebody to come with a soft and, and smooth message to massage you and make you feel better. It's not going to happen like that. Because I don't know if y'all outside, it's fucked up outside. And if you looking for somebody to just tell you, oh, it's going to be okay. You just got to continue to keep your head down and just do what they tell you to do. How long you been doing that for? How long your mama them been doing that? Your daddy them, your granddaddy, your great grandma, your grandma. How long, how, how many different generations that they've been telling you that? Just keep your head down. I don't know if y'all remember this though. But if you use Google and you can look up, they used to have drinking fountains, right? Look at this shit. Look. Look at this. Like, say this right here. Say this right here was a drinking fountain, right? In the 60s and the 50s, they used to have separate drinking fountains, fam. This one too long ago, G. Listen to what I'm saying. In the 50s and the 60s, they used to have separate drinking fountains. One of the fountains said colored only. So it was a sign up here that said colored only for the so-called colored people. Then on the other one, like say it's over here. Say it'll be right here. This one said for whites only. It'll be a sign up there that said for whites only. On the damn drinking water.
But this is the kicker. The kicker is you're not a colored person. Yeah. You're not the colored man. See, this is why I said what you being a part of, what you think that you being a part of is the reason why you're excluded on the planet from having your freedoms recognized, from having your rights recognized. What you've been brainwashed and indoctrinated with is the reason why our people are looked at as you can't trust them. They're untrustworthy. They will backstab you. They will lie to you. They'll get down on you. Treat them like like the black sheep. You recognize that they there, but you don't you don't really mess with them like that. So what you have been tricked indoctrinated to be a part of black colored is the reason why you're being excluded excommunicadoed from freedom justice peace love truth this is the exclusion the exclusion is not because of your skin complexion listen to me fam the exclusion is not because of your skin complexion we the sun-kissed people of the planet. Sun-kissed. Yeah. It's not our skin complexion that gets us excluded. It's the lack of nationality and birthright and knowledge and exercise of law. That is the reason why we are excluded from being able to do and enjoy love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Being able to Enjoy the pursuit of happiness. It's not because of your skin complexion. That ain't it. That ain't it. It ain't cause your skin it ain't cause your skin complexion. It's because of the misinformation that you've been brainwashed to keep accepting. That's why you feel like you're excluded from a privilege that they call white privilege fam it's not your skin complexion it's what you keep saying out your mouth that's the reason why you excluded you keep trying to be plugged in to a Christian black hole system that's designed to keep you excluded do you understand what I'm saying right now you've been tricked you think that identifying yourself as everything but Moorish American is the reason why you black people get shot and black people don't get justice black people don't get no peace all those narratives are created by the CIA the FBI their PSYOP operations to keep you excommunicado on some John Wick shit that's why you excommunicado because what you keep calling yourself and your lack of knowledge of nationality and law and how to exercise the Constitution, which is the supreme law of the land. I'm going to show you how. Right. Look. Have you ever seen somebody that's Asian of Asian descent gunt down in the street like a so-called black person? Have you ever seen that in your life in America? By the police. Oh, we finna get into it. We finna get into it. We finna take it there. In your life, have you ever seen an Asian, whether they're Korean, whether they're Japanese, whether they're Taiwanese, whether they... Listen, man. Listen, man. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Listen, have you ever seen one of them gunned down by the police in the streets like a so-called African-American? Have you ever seen that in your life? No. You've never seen that in your life. And you got to say, damn, why is that? Why? Why I ain't never seen somebody who identify with Asia why I ain't never seen an Asian get gunned down in the street 
like a so-called black person, like a so-called African-American person. Why? I've never seen an Asian get gunned down. I ain't never seen an Asian get beat down by the police. I've never seen that. You know why? You know why? Hmm? Because Asia is an actual continent. It's an actual place. China, Japan, Korea, those are actual countries inside of Asia. Which means that those are nationalities. Ding, 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 ding. Being fucking bombed. That's why you not going to see them get gunned down by the police in the streets. You not going to see that. Because for one, that would be an international war crime. If police was, you know how many, you know how many sirens will go off internationally? If uh, the police here just was to shoot an Asian down in the middle of the street. You know how many sirens will go off? This is why you don't see Asians. You don't remember? Do you remember though? Do you remember when uh, a few years ago, when the police did try to get tough with them Asians out there? You remember what happened? And Biden signed, who was that? Biden, Joe Byron? Remember he signed that demo? Talking about hate crime? You remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nah. The, the cobwebs are starting to come off your head now. Huh? Where you think that where you think that Asian hate crime bill came from? They had to make amends quick. Because them police out there tried to get crazy, tried to get tough with some Asians. Them Asians said, we ain't going. We ain't going. They all Asian. They clicked up as Asians. Whether they was Korean, Japanese, Chinese, whatever they was. They all clicked up and said, we're Asian. There's not going to be no more Asian hate crimes against us. They stood together as Asians. You understand? So-called black people, though, who are really Moorish Americans, you don't stick together. So they know, look, all right, these people, if we, if we do something dirty to one of these people, we know that they don't stand together. All they're going to do is come together. They're going to cry. They're going to march. They're going to light some candles. They're going to ask for donations. That's all they're going to do. They're going to they gonna hold. They're going to protest. They're going to hold some signs around. That's all they finna do. Give them like a week or two, it's over with. This is what the police and these politicians, this is what they know that so-called black people gonna do. You gonna protest, you gonna, you gonna walk around with some signs in the streets, you gonna march, you gonna waste finances. That's all you gonna do. Why? Because of the indoctrination. The mind has been kidnapped. So you think by calling yourself a crayon color, that's strength. You think that that's unity. This is the reason for your exclusion. You're not being included. You're being excluded by your own words out your mouth and your lack of knowledge. Your lack of nationality is the reason why you're ex excluded from the rest of society. It's not your skin complexion. You think because you the sun kiss God and goddess of the planet, you think that Allah don't want us to have our, our birthrights, our freedoms, our pursuit of happiness. You think Allah would just put us here to go and suffer while everybody else on the come up? You can't be serious. You can't be serious. But you got these black agents. This is the message that they promote to y'all. They keep telling y'all, it's because of your skin tone. You don't get justice. You shouldn't have had a hoodie on. That's the reason why the police did that to you. What? You shouldn't have been walking like that. That's the reason the police even came over there. So it's the way I walk. It's the way I dress. No. No, it's got to be, it got to be more than that.
See, it's an energy. This whole planet revolves off of principles. You should pick up the book, The Cabalion. It goes into the principles. Principles like vibration, energy, frequency, polarity, duality. When you walking around with the black mind, it's a it's a it's an energy. But let me show y'all, let me show y'all how great that we are as a people, though. Because we so great as a people. Think about this. We're so cold as a people. We are here calling ourselves crayon colors that our skin don't match and look at all the great accomplishments that we've done yeah it's crazy look at all of the misnomers that our people choose to call themselves and we still out here breaking records we still out here building we still out here in the mix we still doing that. We still own that. We still own it. That's how great you are, though. That's how great you are. Even if you calling yourself a corpse, which is black, you still are in the fight. It's only by the grace of Allah that he ain't wiped us out yet. Because he knows that it's light workers on the planet that's uplifting fallen humanity. But it's only because the grace of Allah that we ain't get wiped out yet. It's only by the grace of Allah right now. Think about it. The word black means dead. The word black means pale. What else is pale? A corpse. See, what people don't realize is the 13th and the 14th and the 15th Amendment, which is not needed for the salvation of Moorish people, people have, don't, have never been taught this information by reason to keep us as corpses that belong to the U.S. corporation. If you break the word corporation down, you get corp or ration. Corpses give ration energy to the dead system. The system of the walking dead is the US corporation. You understand? So the more that you choose to identify as a corp for the ration, you're gonna be sucked dry of all your life force energy. Damn. It's a contract. It's a contract. The more that you choose to misidentify as a corp or ration corporation, you're saying, I, hey, I voluntarily choose to participate in my own destruction. By my own admission, I ain't saying, yeah, I want you to, I want you to do me dirty. That's what you're saying. This is what's mind boggling because these there be people that be they be they be they be capping, they be talking about I read my scriptures, I know my Bible. Yeah, do you? In the beginning was the word. And the word was with and the word was God. And the word was with God. First was the word, and the word was God. So if the word is God, and we are the aboriginal and indigenous people of the planet, and we are all made in God's image and likeliness, but we was the first people, what do you what do you what do you, what would you think we are then? <laughs> Yo, what you what what more do you need, man? Huh? What more do you need? You got to connect back 
with your nationality, man. That's the missing piece. You not connecting back with your nationality, then you're by your own admission saying on some John Wick shit, I want to be excommunicadoed. I don't want to be included in anything positive. I want the mistreatment. This is what our people have not been taught. And we got to start teaching that. It's each one teach one. It's just like John Wick. When the contract went up, think about it. Because this is what it is. If you a John Wick fan, you should know what I'm talking about. When I tied in with this analogy. John Wick, the first one. In John Wick, what happened? What happened? He went back. He got out of the... He got out. Remember John Wick got out? He got out of the underworld. What happened? They came through, killed this dog. He got on that now. Nah, he back in it, right? Remember? Then, what happened? He went on a he went on a spree. Everybody in his way getting 86. Then what happened? Go to part two. Go to part two. Remember John Wick? Part two? Remember what he had to do? He was excommunicado. What's excommunicado mean? To tie it in together, what excommunicado is, this is what so-called black people are in society. In law, so-called black people, Africans, Americans, Pan-Africans, Native Americans, Indians, persons of color. You are saying you want to be, by your own admission, you want to be excommunicado. That means you don't want no pursuit of happiness. You don't want freedom. You don't want peace. You don't want love. You want death. Because that's what black means. Black means death. According to science, black means death. Why would you want to say that you're deaf? Look it up yourself. The word black, according to science, means death. Doesn't matter what you feel. It doesn't matter if you don't like the way I'm relaying the message. It don't matter. It's not gonna change what it is because it is what it is. The word black means death. So every time you open your mouth up and you out your own mouth, Admit that you are a Hispanic, Latino, black person, Native American, person of color, Indian, Native American, Pan-African. You're saying to the world and the universe, you want to be excommunicado. Damn. And then people be out here crying, talking about some... Well, I just want to be a part of something. It's nothing wrong with being a part of something. But why don't you want to be a part of something that everybody else in the world is a part of? You know what everybody else in the world is a part of? Everybody else in the world is a part of a nationality. That's what you're not getting. Everybody else in the world is a part of a real live nation. They have a national flag. They have a national language. They have a national dish that they could say, hey, you know what? I want some arroz con pollo. Y habituelas. Let me get that. That's a national dish. Hey, you know what, though? Hey, let me get some rice and some roti. Let me get that. That's a national dish of aity. The other one was PR. You can't go nowhere and be like, hey, let me let me get the Pan-African national dish. Let 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 matter of fact, change that up. Let me get the African-American national dish. That shit sounds so fucking stupid. 
Hey, let me get the African American national dish. They gonna look at your goof ass like, hey man, move the fuck around. You trying to be funny? <laughs> you trying to be funny or some shit? You trying to be funny? Go fast. They ain't finna. They ain't finna play with you. They gonna be like, what? What's that? What's the Pan African national dish? What's the African American national? What's the Indian national dish? Ah, the Indian national dish is actually a real thing. But, but they're not Indians over there. Mmm, they not Indians over there. Do you know that the colonizers that's, that was over there in so-called India, they changed their name. They changed their name. Those people over there, they're not Indians. Those Hindustani people that's over there, they are not Indians. And they know that. They not Indians over there. Islam or they not Indians over there. The people that's over there in so-called India, that land, that land over there really is called Barat. Borat. Or you could say Indus. There's a river called the Indus River. So they speak. Hindustan or Hindu but they're not Indian though fam the lies the lies are so great that these people have lied to the world with it really will make your brain turn into water fam for real though I see what Noble Joy Lee was talking about when he said I can tell you some things that make your brain turn into water I see what he was talking about fam I see what he was on when it comes to that. I see what he was on. And I see why he said he ain't going to wake all the moors up at one time because we'll test shit up. I'm paraphrasing. But he said we'll test, we'll test, we'll test, some, we'll, we'll test some stuff up. I see why he said I ain't going to wake all y'all up at one time, though. Y'all going to test something up. I'm not even going to be able to control you is what he said. That's what Joe Ali said. He ain't even going to be able to control us. That's strong. So what y'all gonna do? What y'all gonna do? The only thing you can do is change yourself. You can't change nobody else. That's the that's the great illusion. You think that you can change the world, the outside world. You can't change the outside world. The only thing you can do to change is to change yourself, your inner self. That's all you can change because you are the only thing that you can control. Or can you? Because you could be out of control. Thinking that you in control. Ha! I like that. I like that. The only thing you can do, the only person you can control is self. And some people can't control themselves. That's why they call it self control, self discipline, self accountability. Hmm, see? Hey, my thing is this though. Hey, whole time, what y'all gonna do when all these people that y'all this shit wow? Check it out. What y'all prepared to do when it come out and it's about to come out? That all these people that's been out here telling you that you black, all these people that's been telling you that you everything but a more. What you gonna do when they tell you, I'm sorry. I, I, I was just calling you black because I was just meeting you at the place that I thought you was you was at. I I'm sorry. I knew you was Moorish American. I knew you was I knew you was a Moor, but I was just calling you what I thought, you know, that you the level that I thought you was at. And I was just I was just calling you that because that's you know, all y'all do is call each other black anyway. So I just was calling you what you call yourself. What are you prepared to do when all these people start getting exposed? 
What you prepared to say then? Mmm. See, that's that's the shit that's gonna go up. When it's on some, when they start talking like, I'm sorry. Just like they did with the COVID shit. I'm sorry. We were just we were just conducting a, a live guinea pig experiment on the population. These people said they doing a live guinea pig experimentation on the population. What you prepared to do? What you gonna say? What you gonna say to these people when they come out and say, I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to lie to you. I didn't exactly lie to you. I just told you what you know what you what 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 I thought you was at, your understanding. They're gonna try to insult you and give you a backhanded comment. A backhanded insult and say, I'm sorry, I just I was just calling you black because that's why I thought your understanding was at. I knew you was Moorish American. I knew y'all were, I know I know we all Moors and all, but I was just calling you something based off your level of comprehension type shit. What you gonna say to them? What you what you gonna say to them? That part. You gonna give them a pass? Huh? Is you gonna give them a pass? Is you gonna be like, oh, it's okay, it's cool. It's, it's all right, you know, you finna do that? Or you gonna bug up on their ass, like what? You knew this whole time we was Moors. You knew this whole time we was Moors, we was Moorish American then, why the fuck you ain't just tell us that? Better bug up on their ass. Ain't no, oh, we're gonna turn the other cheek. We'll just turn the other cheek. Crazy as hell. You better bug clean the fuck up on these motherfuckers. Cause they gonna come with the whole, they gonna come over with the whole thing like, oh, I didn't, I'm sorry, I just, you know, I, I know we, we were Moorish Americans, but you know, I was just giving us a term to connect. Looking ass. You say one more. You say. You say you want you want to hear my take on. As we know, South Central America is same as we do. Do you think it's the right time to close the border on them? Listen, man. That's what they want us to be. They want us to think that it's a border to close. Ain't no border. Now, what you mean a border? It's that, fam. Nothing that they told us in school is true. Everything they told us is a lie. There is no border. Those borders, those time zones. All of those are man-made social constructs for control and manipulations. Yeah, 19 keys on some fuck shit. He know we Moors. I don't trust none of them. Because a person that'll lie to you, they'll steal from you. You know what they say about thieves, right? You know what they say about liars, right? If somebody lie, they'll steal. They'll steal some shit from you. I don't trust none of them. They ain't got no honor. They don't got no, they don't get no respect. None of them. None of them do. You said every sin is a sin. You gotta look up the etymology of the word sin though. And then while you looking up the etymology of the word sin, the prophet Noble Joe Ali told us, he left instructions, it is a sin to identify yourself with anything that deludes to slavery. It's a sin to do that. You know that? And since our people out here misidentifying with sin look at the consequences 
Look at your conditions. Look how you getting treated. You getting treated as you're in sin. What do they do with the people that sin? They cast it out. You cast it out the Garden of Eden. Let me tell y'all something. Brace yourself. You are in the Garden of Eden right now if you're in the Americas. You're in the Garden of Eden. Identifying yourself as a black person, Pan-African, Indian, Native American, person of color. You're casting yourself out of the Garden of Eden, which is your natural salvation. Damn. The land of milk and honey. You casting yourself out of the land of milk and honey. Because this ain't no black thing. This a Moorish thing. This ain't no black thing. This a Moorish thing, fam. Oh God, this a Moorish thing. This ain't no black thing. What you talking about? It don't matter where you from. This a Moorish thing. On everything. This a Moorish thing. All that crayon color, black top. Think about it like this. For all the ones that's out there talking about they intelligent, they super educated and whatnot. Let me ask you this. I'm talking to all y'all out there that, that, that got degrees on your wall. You went to college. You got higher learning. Listen up. And let me know if this makes sense. Does it make sense to call yourself a crayon color, a paint color that your skin don't match for an identity? Look at this. For example, this truck, this truck is black. My hoodie is black. Them rims are black. My skin is not this. I'm talking to all you educated ones that's out there. Because you say that you're college edu educated, you got degrees on the wall. You say that you are highly educated. You're saying you're a college graduate. You got your doctorate degree. <laughs> Looking ass. So just let me know off that question, does it make sense when you say you gonna go to an all black party, but you call yourself black, right? You call yourself black. You go to an all black party and your clothes don't match your skin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that shit crazy as hell. Oh God, boy. For real? How you go to an all black party? You got all black on, but you, your skin don't match your, your clothes. <laughs> make it make sense, G. This is the type of ignorant shit that we got to destroy. We got to destroy it. Then whole time, right? Look, look, look. Because people love going to parties and shit. You love, to go on, you love going to parties and shit, right? People love being entertained. You love being entertained. Check this out. This is some more entertainment. You get invited to an all white party. You say that you're, you're black, right? How are you going to an all white party and you're black and your clothes are white? How, 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 how are you going? How, how are you going? Or you could say, well, you got invited to an all white party. <laughs> yeah. You got invited to an all white party. And when you get there, you just so happen to see some pale skinned Europeans there. But the pale-skinned Europeans, who you say are 
white people, they got all white on, but they don't match their color, their, their clothes. Wait a minute. You trying to tell me that you got invited to an all white party and the Caucasians that are there, their skin doesn't match the white clothes that they got on and you still call them white people? <laughs> Yo, yeah. Yo, this shit crazy. Crazy as hell, boy. Crazy as hell, boy. Come on, Morris. Come on, Morris. Come on. Come on, Morris. Come on. It's, it's, it's about that time now. It's, it's, it's about that time to start letting this fuck shit go, man. Real shit. It's about that time to start letting that fuck shit go. Free white person does not mean Caucasian race. Listen to me. Tayi, peace. All right, listen. Let me show y'all another magical spell that's been played on our people, right? When we have been taught, we've been brainwashed to think when you say, Words really don't matter. Words are everything. Let me show you how words are everything. And thoughts are everything. Everything that comes out of your mouth is a magical connection to the ethos. Every word that comes out of your vocal box is a connection to the positive or it's a connection, peace more, it's a connection to the negative. Just like the movie Spider-Man No Way Home. You ever seen Spider-Man No Way Home? You remember the guy at the table with that chick? He started doing this and he opened up a portal, right? He opened up a portal. The motion opened up that portal. Spider-Man, he and what did he say? He said, show me Spider-Man, show me Spider-Man, show me Spider-Man doing this, right? The portal opened up. You remember that? Spider-Man No Way Home. A portal opened up. Spider-Man walked through the motherfucker. <laughs> hey, man. They put this in movies, though, all the time. So you not knowing if you not studying. If you not studying high science, you're going to be like, man, that's, a, that's some crazy special effects. Them some raw ass, that's a raw ass special effect. Listen, this is why they call it the seen and unseen worlds. Because the words that come out of our mouth are unseen, but they're felt. They're kept. It's a vibration on them. This is another reason why you can't play with your words, especially what you identify yourself as. What you identify yourself as sets the tone for your being in the universe and on this particular planet. That's why you can't play with a word. You can't play with words like that. It's cool to joke and laugh. I crack jokes all the motherfucking time. I love cracking jokes, talking shit. This is what I do. But it's another side to that. Because if you saying, all right, look, words are magical spells. So when somebody say something like, abracadabra or somebody say something like like in the prophecies in the high deeps noble Joe Ali said he said it was somebody that was up in the building and they was like if he's the prophet if he they said they was talking about the prophet noble Joe Ali dude that was in the in the in there he was talking crazy he was like man if that's prophet if, if he's a prophet I hope to drop dead right now. <laughs> know what I'm saying? On oh, oh God, more. So. Some people, some, it's, it, it, it is a difference, bro. What's up? It's, it's, it's a big difference between um, um, a, a prophet and just a motherfucker that can see. Real shit. That have vision. Because, like, you could, you could be a prophet. All prophets are ordained by God. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And it, it could come by the land on the hands through the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. But these people, these seers, 
And these people that have visions, they could be getting them from uh, fallen angels, mm -hmm. doing witchcraft. Mm -hmm. They could be getting that shit from anywhere. So, mm -hmm. And, they, and they, they could be correct, but they add falsehood to the truth to send you off. Mm. So just because somebody telling you something about your life and they on target, you got to test the fruits of the spirit. Yes, sir. You see what I'm saying? If they yes, not sir. moving in love, they not on us. Oh, God, God. we going to move in love. And the thing about God is he don't need nothing that's external from him to bless you. Mm. God don't need no, he don't, he don't need no falsehood. He don't need no naught. He don't need, um, no criminal. He don't need your, your, your best friend who ain't shit. Yes, sir. You know, when God get ready to bless you, when he wants you to know something, he's going to send a prophet. God. You did what I'm saying? Right it might to. be just somebody to walk up to you and tell you something. Yes, just sir. test the fruit of the person who you talking to. Yes, sir. Test God that fruit. You. Bless yeah. up, more. That's from God, son. Yes, sir. Love, boy. Love, more. This is what it is, man. This is what it be. Just regular Chicago shit. We just be outside. And then they'll be thinking like, man, they'll, they'll hear something. They'll hear something from somebody who just might be talking. And then you thinking because they're giving you a message that you can relate to on some Oh man, this person got, they got 20 million views. They got 20 million followers. You might just be, they're giving you a message like Moore just said. You got to test the fruit of what they talking about. That means you got to have discernment. Start using your, your seven inch, start using them seven, man. Start using them seven, G. Start using them seven senses. Got to start using them seven senses, Morris. Your intuition and that telepathy, that telekinesis is really real, fam. Somebody like they'll be like, they'll be like, man, I don't like, I don't like you how you deliver your message. You see, it's not what you're saying, it's how you said it. Somebody who's saying a narrative to you like that, they're not ready to accept the truth, though. So to them. That's a defense mechanism that they tell you out loud to get you off your square. They just tell you like, man, I like what you're saying, but I don't really like, I don't really like how you deliver it. See, it's it's how you say it. It ain't what you say. That's a deflection mechanism. But that's a that's a learned defense mechanism. It's really insanity though, because if you say you like what somebody's saying, but you don't like the way they saying it to you. You're not ready to accept the, the reality of the situation. You looking at it for like, see, I know you'll be like, I know that you're right, but I just don't like it's you that's saying it to me like that. See? See that right there? This is why Moore was just saying what he was just saying. You got to test the fruit out. Somebody could be telling you everything you want to hear. Somebody could be telling you, they could be giving you all the grapes, the raspberries. Ah, uh -huh. what up, man? What's up? What's up with you? I'm back in my grandma's right now. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. What's down up, the man? Street. Um, I've been. That was crispy. Um, I've been. Um, like my girl, she had like locked up my hair just a little bit. Yeah. And I was actually parked up, and I was like, man, I wish he could like line me up. Just you trying to get a line? Me. Yeah, just a line. All right, come on. All right, back. Give me like uh like ten minutes. All right, okay. Just like that though. Moors is everywhere. Y'all be knowing. We everywhere, fam. Be outside doing what we doing. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everybody claiming the nation except you. Why? Think about it. Everybody out here claiming a nation except our people. All you got to do is start claiming a nation. You've been told that America ain't your homeland. If America was not homeland, think about it like this. If America was not our homeland, why in the 1828 Noah Webster Dictionary, the description of an American is any aboriginal and indigenous various copper complexion race found here by the European? You explain that to me. Make that make sense. If we are not the descendants of the aboriginal and indigenous people. The problem is, it's too many traders that's running around here that got a green light on them. As far as they just saying whatever they want to say. 
You ain't checking these people. All you really got to do is unplug from these motherfuckers, though. Black this and black that. My black brother, my black sister. Get the fuck on. What is you talking about? That shit mean death. So why would I want to keep... If I'm, a, if I'm made of the light, it's not even no if. We made of the light. So why would you say that you're black? You made of the light, right? In the scriptures, don't it say, this little light of mine? No, that's a song. <laughs> that's where they got that song from. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine type shit. <laughs> Real shit though. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Looking ass. So they say this little light of mine, right? They say the light of the world. How you gonna be the light of the world and you calling yourself black? Let me tell you something, man. The world is a positive and a negative place. It's up to you if you choose to shine your light. Shine your light. And guess what light mean? Light mean more. Do the etymology. Light means more. What is light? Light is knowledge. How can you see in the dark? You got to come to the light. Bing bong. You got to come to the light. How you, how you going to see where you going to go if you calling yourself black and you on the dark path? You ain't going to be able to get nowhere. You calling yourself black and you trying to see in the dark. <laughs> that shit ain't going to work, G. It ain't gonna work. Meanwhile, they're they're polluting the food, they crashing the finances, they they crashing everything around the world, G. So if you're not trying to be yourself, and that's being more by your own admission, you participating in your own enslavement, your own slaughter. Why would you want to do that? You made it a light. You Aboriginal and Indigenous. So don't forget that though. Anytime you see one of these Pan Africans running around here, all you gotta do is ask them the question. Hey, you say you Pan African, right? What's the native Pan African language? First thing they're gonna do is. Uh, 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 I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't nobody's ever asked me that, I, I gotta get back to you, looking ass, what you mean ain't nobody ever asked you that, they should have asked you that, as soon as you said that shit, they should have asked you that, hey, what's, what's your, what's your native language, what, what you talking about, where your land at, what you talking about, What's the native Pan African? What's the native language to Pan Africa? It's a it's a catch twenty one, cause they know as soon as they try to answer that question, they fry, deep fry, over with. They can't. So all they gonna do is deflect, avoid, ignore. Rise of the Moors, man. I'm gonna catch y'all later on though. I'm finna go cut right now. All right, you ready? They know if they tell you that answer, they fry. You know what I'm saying? Hold up, matter of fact, hold up, hold up, hold up. let me show y'all something. Hold up, hold up, let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something. Now look, this car is white. My skin ain't. Hold up. Let me clean this. Let me clean this shit off. Let me clean this off. Before I slide, man. Let me show y'all something. Because this ain't nothing but love, though. See there? My skin don't match white. The tires of the car 
is black. So why would you call yourself black like a tire and then call these pale skinned Europeans? Why would you call them white? Ah, why? Why would you do that for? See how it don't make no sense no more? Let that shit go. Let that crayon shit go, man. That shit dead. That shit dumb as hell. That shit over with. Shit over with. All right. Catch y'all more in the next one, though, man. Listen, man. Much love to all y'all critical thinkers that's out there. All y'all Asiatics. All y'all Muslims. All y'all Moors that's out there. Much love. Keep fighting. Keep banking. Because it ain't stopping. It ain't stopping. White and black are statuses. They ain't got nothing to do. They ain't got nothing to do. Huh? What's that? Look at Cal missing. Oh my God. So they just put that on the go right now. What? This dude. Crazy as hell, man. Hey, man. White and black. That's a game you ain't gotta play no more. We moors. That's what we is. We moors. All right. We moors. Our status is free white person. It does not mean Caucasian race. So the pale skinned Europeans, they've been claiming your free white person status. You don't want to claim your status? They gonna claim your status. Why would you want a foreigner to claim a status that's higher than yours? That really belong to you by blood and heritage. Consanguinity. Peace, Morris. Much love. <laughs>